Right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Folks, here we go, undisputed UFC heavyweight championship fight, and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight, and he's enjoying every moment of it. Huge title defense beckons for him tonight. John, he loves where he stands in the sport. He loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet. He knows he's the biggest, he's the strongest, he's the baddest, and he loves it. And he prepares as if he never wants to let that go. This man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on it. Well, right, you lose this belt, it's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. This is the first fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Big. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Live. Referee Herb Dean will handle the action in the octagon. All right, here we go. Up for grabs tonight. The title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. Oh, big front kick lands flush. Nice. Nicely done. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, the kick. Oh, the connection with the left from the champ. Beautiful jab lands. Stuff to take down, no problem. Trading good shot. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Strong inside leg kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Connected with a solid strike there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And now some knees. Oh, that's how you throw a combination. Beautiful stuff there. So he stuffs another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training camp was in terms of the defensive wrestling, but he certainly... Oh, oh. You gotta go, you gotta go. Nice shot there by the champ. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Oh, no, no. Ooh, big knee. Oh, who's going to be the last man standing? We're just getting started, and they are getting after it. These dudes are throwing bombs. This is going to be a great fight. 
Oh, oh. spinning back fist. Just over three minutes to go round one. Takedown defense is there. Ooh, good up and back. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. This could be trouble. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, oh we're getting a finish here. Oh, there it is. That's that one, the right hand. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Straight right is there. Out of range with that one. Oh, you gotta start to look to finish him now. Nice jab there. Takedown defense holds up. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. And a cut has just opened up now on his forehead. Oh, nice. Oh, perfect head kick there. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, block that punch. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan and it's working. Well, he has stayed technical, but he is really starting to chew up the opposition now. He came out super aggressive as a great timing on that double leg. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can't attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. All right, there's the horn. The round is over. You see there's a cut above his eyes, sustained in that round. And now the cut man comes in. He'll have 60 seconds to try to close it up and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Second round underway. Right on the button. Leg kick. Oh, big punch lands. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Hurt him bad. He could find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now he's got to Single 
arms high. Back to the left. Oh, no. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. All right, we'll see if he has any response here. His opponent continues to land a lot of swelling upstairs. Well, you gotta move your head. You gotta be preemptive. You cannot wait until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. Oh! That's it! Oh. was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, with that, the official decision is in. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 48 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Why? Well, he came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO. And that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight.